हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मोनिका फ्रॉम आइल्स नाइन सो हेयर आई एम आई एम रियली हैप्पी टू टेल यू डैट मैनी क्वेश्चन आर नाउ इट इज रिपीटिंग एंड मैनी रीडिंग पैसेजेज और ऑल्सो रिपीटिंग इन आइल्स एग्जाम सो यू कैन ऑल्सो डू प्रैक्टिस फॉर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन पेपर्स राइटिंग टास्क टू रीडिंग एंड लिसनिंग ऑल्सो ओके of course speaking questions i'll speaking questions are also uh, they are also repeating uh, frequently now here in this video we are going to discuss we i will tell you how to attempt these questions specifically when they have asked you two part questions in first body paragraph we will talk about reasons means causes of the problem and in second body paragraph we will talk about advantages versus disadvantages but you need to tell which one is more means uh, so they have asked you statement do the advantages outweigh its disadvantages you need to tell whether it has more advantages than disadvantages or uh, other option you can go that uh, you can say it has more advantage disadvantages then uh, advantages you can just go vice versa also now main topic here is let's read it and what i am going to discuss with you so its brainstorm points how to generate idea its vocabulary also and full essay we will write with the help of no without template today we will write okay now let's read the question statement and these two dates you can see 16th march 2024 and 29 april 2023 i guess yeah so these this same question was there in or and almost after one year it is repeating see this the gap is almost one year now let's read the question statement nowadays more and more people decide to have children later in their life now what is the main topic nowadays more and more people decide to have children later in their life in recent time many uh, more people means people means married couple and all decide to have children later in their life later means in their uh old age kind of thing you can just think about it now i have just come out with the main topic so what is the main topic so main topic here is now we are doing planning planning is really important for attempting any writing task two question and of course in planning we definitely you will be reading the question statement three four times and analyze it so how i have analyzed so that's why i was reading it twice or thrice this we know it that uh, two part question is this but we know uh, we should know the main topic also so main topic here is more couples having couples means like of course single people single person can't uh, be a parent so uh, definitely more couples having children in later stage of their life okay later stages or stage you can just write so what are the reasons reasons just think reasons of course Uh, people are nowadays uh, nowadays as you must have heard in india also all over the world ladies are more career oriented nowadays even everyone not only ladies in fact male also first they will settle down in their job or profession or business then they will think about their marriage and after that after so after 3 4 years they will think about their carrying their babies and all okay so career oriented people are there and definitely second point we can just describe follow they are busy and so of course many people they have got their job uh, and after that they will try to follow their passion also many people they they have passion for traveling throughout the world as well as um uh, some uh, some uh, some professionals they may be uh, trying their uh, hands in arts and cultures and so many other things people may be having their own passion and yeah some some couples they may be having some financial problem also so these three important points i have just thought before writing this is also part of planning so first 5 minutes you should do planning okay so reasons we have thought about it now why now i uh, now outweigh we have to tell uh, examiner also what is outweighing means whether advantages has more than disadvantages or disadvantages so here i have written it has more disadvantages than advantages okay but why now whatever we are just agree or disagree with the question statement 
we need to think about our reasons why we are uh, disagree why we are saying this statement so of course when ladies will be having uh, uh, later um, pregnancies and all then definitely their health will be affected miscarriages will be there health problem infertility will be there and more divorce rates will be there so we will discuss everything in the body paragraph and then in society also in society also people will uh, look uh, in in asian societies definitely people just they are looking couples only for their children so some effect will be there okay and advantages what advantages can be there because we need to write disadvantages also and advantages also so what advantages we can write definitely when they will be having a career they will be having good career and after uh, later stage they will be having more finances in their hand so that they can welcome their child with more uh, facilities in the, in his life okay so these are the points we have described now what is the format of this essay now just look at this of course you know four paragraphs are there four paragraphs are there and first will be introduction and second second will be about reasons because we have two part questions a uh, second uh, body paragraph we will be writing about this outway in first body paragraph we will talk about reasons in second body paragraph we will talk about advantages also disadvantages also and here a conclusion last one is conclusion now coming to the another thing as we know in this question statement we have three four key points that we are going to repeat it again and again so here people and children later in their life okay so people decide to have children later in their life so if you repeat the same words like people people children 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 then definitely there will be a boring thing for checking uh, this uh, for this for the examiner to check your essay so what we can do it we can just think before writing their synonyms also so i will show you so nowadays what we can use nowadays see this uh, in the modern times or in present times in this day and age any other thing you can just write for nowadays more and more means increasingly number of or to a greater extent gradually more number of couples or people you can write people couples of course a uh, single person can't do anything couples working professionals masses populace or married people you can write to have children to bear children to bring their child into this world and later in life means at an uh, older stage or age in later years at an advanced stage of life okay so these are the synonyms you can just think how i have just written uh, no need to make uh, this decoration while planning your essay only uh, uh, so, uh, only just uh, draw a line and uh, just write the points and for synonyms what you can do you can just circle it and just write the words you want to write you can circle it and just do like that now how to write introduction so how to write introduction introduction means three sentence formula it is important first general statement about the main topic general statement or sentence you can say if you do not you can't think about the common sentence about the main topic it's okay start with paraphrasing of question statement okay paraphrasing means say the same sentence but using synonyms and using another sentence sentence structure and third is thesis sentence thesis out uh, thesis or outline sentence means what you are going to discuss in the upcoming paragraphs uh, along with your opinion also now see this this is the question statement and how i have written introduction look at this now today we are writing this essay without help of any template and normal following normal rules for writing introduction body paragraph 1 and 2 okay and conclusion so i have started with uh, instead of nowadays i have written in this day and age comma the increasingly number of working 
uh, working non working community so here we can write and also and non working couples have their own children at the uh, at the um, at the older ages or at the uh, at an older ages in their elderly age i think no an is not there actually at the older ages in their lives i personally now this is my opinion i personally feel that financial the financial burden means i am giving my opinion about the main topic by giving the reason also i personally feel that the financial burden is the is one of the major factor responsible for this trend and obviously this has negative impact on both parents okay negative impact means it has more disadvantages okay now here what i have written not only but also why i have written because here i could have used uh, this not only but also this essay here you can use will also you can use shall also this essay shall not only explain various reasons and but also instead of and you can use but also why this practice has more drawbacks than merits simple three sentence formula i have written in fact i have not used any general background statement for the main topic you can use it it will be good if you use it you if you write general statement about the main topic okay so this is my view uh, my opinion with some logic i have given what it means examiner will understand that you are going to talk about this this financial burden and negative impact on both parents okay this is done now we are going to write about reasons causes okay so now let's write let's do it see this these three reasons we will be explaining in career oriented people follow their passion financial problem how i have started see this to inaugurate with people are having their own children at their later stages because of their financial problems uh, career or uh, coma is their career or professional uh, demands pursuits and instead of pursuits you can use demand also and some may follow their passions first then uh, first then they can marry or have children in this world after getting married also people are just doing their uh, following their passions in their life and then they think about their marriage or, uh, or or have child in this world so first this first line is connector you should use it to start any paragraph now firstly first reason i am giving it means i am going to explain but instead of firstly you can write the uh, the important the prominent one is you can just write the prominent one is that young couples have less financial resources due to their less salaries initially when they initiate with their professions okay with their professions um, so this is reality actually to explain it means to explain this point to explain it uh, uh, or dive into the road roots to dive into the roots or you can use the word to explain it to dive into the roots their jobs demand more concentration on career making and they do not have um, enough time to spend quality time uh, enough time to spend quality time with their family members that's that's the reality in this world nowadays for both uh, for both working couple actually for instance now this is example in western countries more young couples are working and try to settle in their lives in their lives they plan they plan babies in mid 30s or 40s moreover next point moreover some married people want to enjoy their life first like traveling follow their passions uh, and then if they are well settled in their careers then they only plan their babies there is also important to write thus now result there are some uh, there are some elements there are some elements or sorry these are some elements why married couples choose not to have children at an early age unlike in the past so this is full body paragraph 1 see this look at this 
body paragraph i have started from here first introduction of the topic and then first point and then example and second point see this second point and then result so this you can follow for writing any body paragraph in ielts essay see this so when you are taking interest in explaining any point then definitely you can write this much i'm i'm sure now second body paragraph so second body paragraph we are saying it has more disadvantages than advantages it means both the things we have to write but we need to tell that it has uh, the advantages outweigh uh, the disadvantages outweigh its advantages so furthermore bring children at an early age or sorry bringing children at an early age have both pros and cons means advantages and disadvantages however so here uh, you can put full stop however comma i think it has uh, more detrimental effects on the parents on both parents i have written various studies have shown uh, that this is that women who conceive after a certain age are at higher risk of miscarriages and other health issues l is also there see this i am getting my mistake so same thing you will be doing in in your actual exam then you will get your own mistake means in proofreading last 5 minutes you should spend in proofreading health issues such as infertile rate can be high at this age this can lead to a problem means first i have just explained the points and its explanation then what is the result this can lead to a problem between husband and wife which can be uh, which can be div uh, divorce at the end to add on means next point this trend would lead to a generation gap in society or in a nation definitely this will bring a generation gap on the other hand means another thing if a child is born to the mature parents okay matured parents with good financial budgets at home that baby would enjoy more facilities and prosperous growth and better education so it means we have we are talking about more disadvantages that's why we have explained uh, more this point and one advantage is also we have written so that's a good thing both the things you have to write but you need to tell that it has more disadvantages now conclusion to conclude to conclude the new trend now we will uh, we will try we will understand we will write the main topic or question statement again in different language the new trend in society to have children at a later stage of life because now we have we are giving reason or due to the fact also you can write because some sub factors like financial burden whatever we have discussed in question uh, in body 1 and 2 name of those points we will write like financial burden and professional demand also i have forgotten and professional demand you can just write profession demand now now full stop is there although it has few advantages such as better life to a child i profoundly believe that this new development has more drawbacks to individuals and society i suggest now suggestion always you should give it at the end i suggest that parents should uh, both parents should plan their babies uh, uh, plan their babies as soon as possible to uh, avoid any health issues and uh, an, any other issues in the society so this you can always suggest now i will show you full essay so introduction and then body body one starting from here and finishing here and here this is second body paragraph and this is conclusion see this 